Welcome back, Sunshine. Today we're playing Father's Day. Here we go. I'm ready for the spooky surround sound jump scares. Can I run? Okay, first things first, you always have to check if there's running in the game. And I don't know. Oh! Oh. Father's Day. Maybe that was the opening call. What makes people to go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? Parental home. First date. Family picnic. Going to the city fair with a child. These are warm memories, but only if you are happy now. And if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again, but you can't. How to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world? Phil, you have to... Act 1. The past cannot be changed. Free the future. I hear water rumbling, so I think we are washing our face. Oh, I like it! Alright, let's get immersed. Oh, alright. It's been day 42. I'm in a bathroom and I want to change my past. Oh, it's my beautiful house. I paid 15 years of mortgage and I finally I'm done with the down payment. It's my house. Smell the smell the wallpaper. My house. Okay. My name is Phil. I'm a I'm a dirty man with the books laying on the floor, but I have this house on my own. All right. Um the boy who disappeared 6 days ago was found local residents. Oh hey, this is um do you guys remember there's a maniac operating in our area who kidnaps children. Do you remember the game Find Yourself? In Find Yourself, it's about the kid who went on a, a circus or something, picnic with a dad and got kidnapped by a maniac. Now I think it's a perspective of the father who, like, you know, who lost their kid. I think it's, I think this game is about the father. I like how the Emika Games universe is all like, sort of connected. I hear like a footstep. Oh wow. Missing child. The police are looking for the boy. He didn't come home from a walk. Oh hey, this wasn't here. There's no time to be distracted. You need to continue working on the project. Oh my god, I like this science fiction. Look, we're like Dr. Octopus. I have spent several years developing a time machine. I'm almost close. <laughs> you can build a time machine, but look at this crappy water fountain. <laughs> Need to pick up the order. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm, okay, no, no scare. Can we like... Press the bell and run away. <laughs> Alright. Uh-huh. So, which compartment? It's like a f little, little fuse. Where do I put it? Okay. Are we done? Oh. Okay. Power up. Ooh. Alright, world. I'm going in. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's it's like it's like that. In like Marvel universe, like they were trying to make a portal, but actually like it opened up like portal to somewhere else. And like aliens and monsters come in from like the fourth dimension. Oh, wait, where uh, where's my water? Oh no. My water's gone. Oh. Oh, I'm I'm zapped. <laughs> I got zapped. That was act two. Oh, okay, act two. They thought it was safer inside. Okay. Henry, look around this house. There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need a lead. We need any lead. All right, Officer Choi moment. Here we go. Accept it. Officer Choi, approaching the house. 
Let's go knock. Oh, what's this? Oh, look. I got a flashlight. <laughs> the police, open the door. No? Oh, this is the... This is where the maniac lives. This is the circus from uh, Find Yourself. Okay, we're supposed to find a way in from the back. Probably. Officer Choi, going in. Open the door. This is an ordinary abandoned house. No one has lived here for a long time. Okay, take a look around. Yes, sir. What is this? It doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me, but not the same as before. She's angry. I disturbed their p peace. I need to fix everything. The last thing I can do is ask for your help. Help me get them back. Okay, what, what do you want me to do? Oh! Oh! I hear something. Oh! Somebody. Okay. Oh! The door is open. Yikes! Officer Choi is going in. No, oh, the fan is... Someone sitting upstairs! Need to, need to find the ladder. Oh! Can we not? Okay, I think the ladder is outside somewhere. Ah, I see a ladder here. Alright. Oh! A mannequin. And a ladder here. Hey! Uh, looks like I can burn the ropes. Okay. I need to find ma matches and gasoline? What? What? Can you just like untie the rope? Okay. <laughs> That's the most bizarre way of g removing the ropes. Mostly it's gonna be like, I need to find knife or scissors. Alright. Oh! You moved here. Okay, Officer Toy. I have a ladder. I'm going up. Effing creepy place. <laughs> oh. The culprit in the accident on Highway 58 testified. I definitely saw that the girl ran out onto the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the accident. Recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and a child could not get out of the car. Alright, Officer Choi. House is clean. There's no evidence. Uh, can I go home now? Oh! Henry, get back to base! It's been a long shift. It's time. It's time to rest. Oh no. No, it's blocked. No, it's all blocked. My gasoline. <laughs> okay, there's no way to go. Oh. No, that's not a mannequin. That's a monster. Right? Oh my god, that's new. That's new. Okay, we have to follow. Okay. Shh, Officer Choi. I'm I'm going into the woods. <gasps> I have found a secret lock. I think I found something. Police Sergeant Henry Anderson, he was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park, but during the operation, he stops contacting. Act 3. Your nightmare is reality. 
Wait, we're back here. Oh, but it's a bit different. There's a, uh, like, candle lights. <gasps> it's a... It's, oh my god, it's a lot different now. What, what happened to this house? Oh. I'm supposed to take the flashlight. Okay. And the door's open. Mmm. Something happened to this house. Look. Emma wasn't... S Emma hasn't sorted her mail yet. Need to replace the envelope. Your brother, Jonathan? <gasps> Look at that hand! Ugh. Emma, I'm so sorry. I want to help you find JJ, but... I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends and didn't warn you. He'll be back soon. Your neighbor, Phil. Locked. Need a key. Okay. Well. Are we supposed to go in? <gasps> oh, look at that. There's a monster. Come out. <gasps> oh, the closet changed into a new house. Oh. My house changed! What? I have a new TV! Yay! <laughs> Alright. Open two times. <gasps> wow! That's cool, it's like Doctor Who. Oh! It's a new house. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Whoa, what's this? It's like a baby rat? Do you see this? Looks like a baby rat. Oh my god, it's moving. It's moving. The oh, that feels weird. Mm. Oh, cockroaches. <laughs> Need to find the missing part. Missing part looks like a bear. Oh! What the hell? Need to light the candles to open the door. I didn't expect this to, op to open. Ah, there's a lighter here. Okay. Okay, it's open and there's a key. Key to where? Do we see any? Oh, you know what? It must be the the key to the little drawer in front of um, Emma's house. Oh no! We see someone. <laughs> it looks like a cookie. Oh. oh. Oh no, the baby is farting. Open the box. What's in here? <gasps> a magic book. Oh, look. We got the fuse. The fuse for our time machine. Okay. Mannequins. Oh. Time is zero zero. Mannequin and invasion. Oh. Wow. My house changed again. Oh. The item is missing. It's the Ouija board. All right. Well. Oh. Ugh. Okay, let's fit it in. Finally. Now what's going Okay. The missing piece of the Ouija board. Oh! Who's here? Say hi to me! Where'd she go? 
She left the chair and... <laughs> Very confusing. Okay, so if we go back here, it's gonna be changed. Of course. Hi, mannequin. Boo. A password? And then we go back to the Ouija board, and the Ouija board's gonna tell us the password. Of course, I know it. Oh! Okay, what's the password? One. Four. One, four, zero, eight. Uh, what happened? Uh, the mannequin's gone. Now it says hell here. One, four, zero, eight. I'm going into hell. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm like... Bart Simpson here. Yeah, hell, let's go in. There's no lever? What do you mean? We need to find a lever. A lever. It must be in here. Okay. Oh. There's someone. Oh my god, look. There's someone waiting for me. Oh. <gasps> Aha. Okay. Bye. Okay, now we can open the chest and there will be the lever and then we will go into hell. And we will be Bart Simpson. Aha. Uh -huh. Plug it in. Oh! Creator, I want to hear the truth. Creator? Act 4. The Golden Egg. Oh, the Golden Egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of a certain person. And we also analyze what he is afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a pers person's mind into a virtual world, so he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Then we connect to the consciousness of a person and try to find out what secrets he keeps. In our egg, we have created a space for a maniac so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world and will think that this is his life. While he is distracted, our task is to dig into his memories of this case. To do this, we will connect a person who will explore his world and record evidence for us. Together with the district police, we are launching the system. Okay, this feels like the movie Inception. Oh, look at that. Operator says, communication with Henry has been interrupted. He no longer gets in touch. Oh, Henry is not a real officer. He's like an agent who went into the memory. Henry got beyond the golden egg. Only a maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who has already been to this place in reality. He himself will not get out of this world, of his world. We're calling Jonathan. Wait. So we are diving into a another person's mind and trying to figure out like what the secret is. Act 5. Be careful. Evil knows where to look for you. I like the idea of like this game. All right. It's Officer Jonathan Choi. Jonathan, show me how it was, but don't go beyond the boundaries of the world. It's dangerous. I was in this place 20 years ago. It's like it was yesterday. With a nice camcorder. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, well, ooh. Okay. Somehow we got the nifty crowbar at the start and the light bulb some blow up. It's like it's like yesterday. Seems to be locked from the inside. Shit. Oh my god, that scared me. What the hell is this? You want me to approach it? Oh. 
Uh, how do I go in? Like that. <laughs> okay, Officer Jonathan Choi is in. Is anyone here? I hear a... Lighter fluid. There's a weird sound. This is the letter I sent to Emma. That son of a bitch stole it. I knew he he was guilty. I don't need any presents. Please let us go home. We are very scared. There are more kids here. JJ should be among them. Mm. Alright, let's go up. Oh, nothing's here. He was here. He was hidden. Okay, a lighter. We need to find a way to open the chest. I see something. What is this? Pizza. Oh, no. What in the hell? It's the baby rats. They're being cooked. Oh wow. Here need an access key. <gasps> oh, th oh look. These are like clown materials. So probably this is the house where the clown lives. Oh, now we burned the... Uh... Ooh. What the hell? <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> what the what the hell is this? Are right, we need we need a key card? Oh. We can go inside the Shrek zone. And there's a I'm digging into the poop. <laughs> I got the access card. But my dignity as a human is gone. Oh. Ugh, it smells. I came home after school. My mom was in ugh, bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. I found this diary in reality. I need to dive into it. Okay. We're going into the diary. Oh, we're here again. Hi. You want me to go over there? Okay. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you her... Pshh. No matter how hard you try, they can't admit that you're an unusual child. I want them to understand that. Why are you hindering me? How much longer are you going to put up with being locked in the basement? We need freedom. I have a plan to get rid of them. Let me do it. Let me do what? Oh my god, this house. Tonight, two patients escape from a psychiatric hospital. A man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple. Enter into trust and can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the local police. Okay. So this house is a house of... Oh my god. House of a married couple. Oh my god, that looks so creepy. It's giving me like the side eyes. That's so creepy. Ew. Oh. Okay, there's gonna be a jump scare right there. I know it. Alright, we'll, we'll do the bathroom jump scare first. I'm ready. Uh, it wasn't a jump scare. <laughs> what? A lever? Huh, oh, interesting. I was expecting like a... What the hell? What the hell? Okay. 
Oh, uh, wait. Check this place first. Oh my god. What's behind here? Another door? Oh hey, the side eye is here. I need, to, I need to find a crowbar. Oh, nicely done eggs. A knife. <gasps> what? Hey! That's the... Oh, you know what? Jonathan is the kid, this kid, from Find Yourself. And that's the crazy maniac mom. I mean, the psychiatric couple and that's the mom and there's there's gonna be like a dad crazy dad one so it's like a sequel or like a explanation version of the find yourself oh okay you want me to go upstairs aha uh -huh. oh we're upstairs <gasps> oh you remember this Oh, it's all the Emeka games coming back to me. Oh, hey, this this is the house. <clears throat> this is the house from Find Yourself. And this is the mom's room. The crazy... Oh. <laughs> Need a bolt cutter. Man, this game is asking me too much. I'd, I'll try to re repeat these photos. <gasps> oh. Wait, Phil is the son? Phil, my son. Me and dad wanted to help you so much. We moved into a new house in the hope that everything would change, but evil possessed you and we didn't know how to deal with it. Terrible things began to happen, killing birds and animals. It wasn't your fault. You were held hostage by a monster. Oh, I wanted to get rid of him. Alright. Oh, I found a... Puzzle piece? Oh. Lockpick. Okay, so now we don't need a key. We can just... Um, we can just pick the locks. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, this one first. Aha. We got it? Okay, so our objective is to find uh, a crowbar and a key. Oh, Mamma Mia. <laughs> it's time for Mamma Mia. A dog's yelling at me. Oh my god, what was that? <gasps> There's a. It's another one of those uh, side eyes. Statue. Oh! <sighs> okay, I'm still alive. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is a. <laughs> it's very weird. I did my best to get my parents admitted to a psychiatric clinic. They were diagnosed with schizophrenia, a dangerous form, because they almost harmed their child. And this is so weird. Okay. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Genchana. Ding, ding, ling, ling, ling. Press C to take a photo. Okay, what, what should we take? Take. Um, oops. Is that it? Are we good? Oh, a bolt cutter appeared. Nice, we can open the door with this. There was a chest and- Oh! You okay? I think he snapped a bit strong. Ling, 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 ling. I'm okay, I'm fine. In China. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah! So we did this. Next, we have to like do this. And then we get a crowbar. 
Nice. Steven and Nan. Okay, that's the real mom and dad, is it? We returned to our house, but others lived there. I needed to get rid of them <coughs> and get my life back. They had a child. He looked he looks so much like my Phil. With him, we can start all over again. Little Peter, we are your new mom and dad. She wanted to start over, but something went wrong. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> That was unexpected. Alright. There must be... A place where we can take a photo. As I feel like something's following me. So many dolls. Alright. We got the crowbar. Let's go back. Ooh. Why is there a radio here? <laughs> Just keep on walking, don't look back. Just keep walking, don't look back. Don't look back. Oh. Mannequins all over the place, but don't look back. Don't look back. Just go. Oh! Don't look back. Oh, this is a scary corridor. <laughs> what? What is this? Why is there a lever here? Okay, I have to look back now. I'm looking back. <gasps> oh, it's a, it's a stair. Oh, they're welcoming me. Surprise! Oh. It worked. It looks like the lock in the basement has opened. Aha! Alright, all three. Let's go. Ah, all right. Okay. Jump scare. Be careful. Oh, I'm okay. I'm fine. Kenchana. Oh, hey, this is the basement. Remember? I know this place. If we get rid of this thing. Oh, VHS tape. There's a box here. <laughs> and like, if we go inside here, it changes. Oh, oh. wait, we need three more puzzles? What? Okay, TV. A child who craves parental love becomes rejected because he is not like that. I needed to help Phil to find freedom. I calmed down Phil. After that accident, Phil asked me to help him get his family back. We tried many times, but it didn't work out, and Phil only got worse. I was left alone. I, said, I decided that if we could get his real family back, then I could find a new one. While I was thinking about it, I remembered our house where we were together and decided to take a look at it. When I got home, I saw a baby. Phil could take care of him. I tried to convince Phil to go to the Father's Day celebration on Sunday, saying that your life would change there, but he refused. Then I went there myself, wearing my best outfit. I wanted to amuse the children. Now that's not amusing. I met my father with a child. It was that boy from our house. He treated him badly. He wasn't his real father. I made sure he was left alone. Blah blah blah. His name was Peter. Alright, so this is like very much connected story. 
Your subconscious is more adequate than you. Uh, then you must understand that you are evil. You made your parents monsters. They killed Peter's parents because of you. Emma lost JJ because of you. Ah. So we're inside the subconscious of the clown. Clown of like all this monstrous things. I came home after school. My mom was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Okay. And now we're back. Somehow. Emma, your neighbor doesn't bother you anymore? I know you're kind to him, and your son likes him, but he seems strange to me. His name is Phil, and he lives alone? I've got s something on him. He had a family. They got into a car accident. His wife and child died. After that, he moved into an apartment in your house. I don't think you should talk to him, your brother Jonathan. Wait, do you think Jonathan is the clown, which actually might be the nice person? It might be a plot twist. A plot twist that actually the clown is a nice character. Phil's diary. Okay, we're back here again. Mannequins. More mannequins. But we have a giant crowbar. Oh, this one's like looking at me. Oh, why? What happened? What is this? Oh, it's a angle cutter, angle grinder. Oh, and we go inside here? And this is like the, this must be the secret hidden like story. Act You'll six, together forever. I gotta come all the way back down there now. <laughs> we are in the circus. <laughs> Okay, Phil is the clown. We are Jonathan. To be honest, don't expect too much from me about the stories. I have no idea how the story goes. <laughs> it's it's a horror game. That was funny. <laughs> Scare is enough. You gotta escape. Hi, what's your name? Aren't you here with your parents? My name is Peter. I'm on holiday with Dad. Your dad's lost. Your dad lost you. He asked me to help find a boy with dark hair whose name is Peter. Come on, I'll take you to him. <laughs> Good. A few hours later. Whoa. Hey kids. Go up. Hi kids, it's me. <laughs> um Peter need to feed my new friend. <gasps> Wait. So it was us. Like at the circus? The laughing sound, like right now, the laughing sound is us. We are the clown. We are Phil. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. You know, actually, that, that, that could be a breakfast. I like that. <laughs> I'm hungry, too. Okay, what do I eat? What do I eat? <gasps> oh, that's the clown nose. Oh, look at that, the toaster. Oh, oh. Delicious, I'm going to sleep now. So it's like the story of this clown and the crazy parents. It's like the story from Find Yourself is finally getting resolved. But I'm too dumb to understand the story. <laughs> A few days later, news time. The police are looking for a boy, 10 years old. Name is JJ. Police officers and volunteers were sent to search for him. Act 7, darkness comes out. Bastard? Okay, we're back at Phil. Oh. Clown. We got a VHS. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Called Father's Day. Oh, it's upside down. Guilty. 
I don't have a flashlight. If the flashlight doesn't work? It's okay. We have a light here. Okay. Someone's crawling behind here. I want to sit in a chair. Okay. <gasps> Act 8, don't leave alive. The battery on the video camera is dead. <gasps> oh, hey, are we under the place? Like with the angle grinder? Are we in here? Oh my god, this looks very like... Technological. Okay. Somewhere he hit the keys. Oh. Okay, I got the keys. Okay. There's a passage behind the wall. I have a letter. What? I can open the ventilation grate with a screwdriver. Oh. Oh, we have to block this. Oh, okay. There we go. I go back. Now get the sledgehammer. Ah, uh, and probably go back, bash the wall of bricks, and then go through. Oh. <gasps> okay, this is like an underground mine. <gasps> is dead bodies here? Here you will need a st step ladder to climb. I have a key. I can open this. Okay, what's in here? I think I think that's the ladder. Come here. Come here, you grasshopper. Ah. The ladder's here. Okay, let's go. Mhm. Mm what do we have here? Don't get caught by Phil. We need to take a flashlight. Okay. Take the bell and the phone book to save progress of the game. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? So it's like a chase and run? Okay. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. What am I doing? Sharp object. Ooh wee. Sharp object. Oh. 
There's not enough details? What? Ow! Oh, I'm caught! Ah! So, okay, there's like coins. So we have to get coins. Sharp object. Shit! Come over here. Sharp object for, um. What was it? Okay. For here. Open, 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 open. <laughs> uh, uh. Lure him in. Let's like save. Let's save progress. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, saving. Okay, good. Now, the coin, I think we can buy, like, a... Item. What? Huh? I got a crowbar. Let's play with a slot machine? Okay. <gasps> Do it! Come on! Again? Oh, the clown is not chasing us now. We're doing some gambling. <laughs> Yay! A key. It's time to go back. We have to lure him in. Or maybe you just go past- Oh shit. He's coming. Ooh! Ooh! Run, run, run! Don't look back! Don't look back! Just keep on running. Why are you still chasing me all until here? Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I'm alive. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> oh. A lot of mannequins. The key. Okay. What's in here? Wow, a lot of drinks. Then, I had to do everything myself. Phil didn't talk to me. And I decided to take care of Peter myself. Brought friends for him, brought food and toys. Without taking off your outfit, because children love clowns. Oh, crowbar. Another key. <gasps> what is it? Oh! <laughs> hey man, calm down, I'll help you out. You're stuck in a cage. Ah. Alright, kid. I found the keys. Let's get out. I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in that room. Peter told me that there were two more children. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find JJ. Phil hid the information about where he hid them. Maybe I should try again? I'm sure I can find them. Right now, it's not necessary. We are at an imp impasse again. Phil is not as simple as it seems. I have a suspicion that otherwise let's leave it for now. We are starting the next system startup. Act 9. Some places never let go. We're not done yet.
That boy, his name was Peter, was special. I would never hurt him. He was lonely like me. The man he called his father was a monster. I wanted to save him from his world. Are you starting to remember what you did? The flashlight doesn't work. Um, my order has arrived. What I'm doing is not real. There is no time machine, but there is reality in which everyone is happy. I'm confused. I can't take it anymore. I brought friends for, for him and brought a lot of toys and food. I wanted to be a real father to him. He shouldn't have felt bad. And he was happy. I did everything for this. The other kids were misbehaving. And I had to calm them down. I don't understand why they call me a maniac. Kids love the clowns. You've been silent for 20 years. And you still think you're innocent? Show me where the children's bodies are hidden. Oh. So, so the person like right now is the clown. We have reached an impasse again. Are starting another reboot of the system. I had to fix it. I'll tell you everything. So Phil is the clown. Okay. That's for sure. <gasps> Court decision. Defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction and murder of two children. He moved the bodies many times, trying to hide them. Eventually, they were found on the territory of the house. Harris buried them in the place where the van was standing. The third child was saved. During the investigation, the pilot project Golden Egg was involved. Thanks to him, we got recognition from Harris. Whoa, what? In the Golden Egg, we discovered that Phil Harris suffered from multiple personality disorder. His mind divided into two different people. Ah. So there was a clown and the other one. The depressed Phil, who withdrew within into himself, thinking that he could prevent the death of his family, and the dominant personality of the clown, who had not manif manifested himself since childhood. Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find a place where the children were hidden. Oh! So, they were diving into Phil's mind, but inside Phil's mind, there's the clown version and the nice version. And the nice version helped him. He couldn't fix his mistake, but he had to help those families. Jonathan didn't find Surgeon Henry. What are we going to do? Do not disconnect it from the system. I'll find something to tell the police. So that's the like a sequel. Henry is still stuck in here. Oh no. <gasps> we forgot Henry. Hi. Oh, we're going into the parade. The merry-go-round. <gasps> There's a person. Hi. Hi. Henry crying. <laughs> You're mine forever now. <gasps> so, F Henry is stuck with Phil, the clown Phil. Well, there we go. That's Father's Day. Oh, that was a long um, horror game with quite some unexpected jump scares. All right. Oof. I hope you liked it. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.